Hi, my name is David, and you just stepped inside my mind. Cinematography, the art of making motion pictures. Sounds simple, right? But the truth is the hard work and ambition required to produce a motion picture is far more complicated than a simple definition. Cinematography is a craft, an art form spurred on by technology and the ambition of its artisans. It involves color, artistic composition, and technique. It's just a slice, albeit a very important one, of what is required to make a movie. And from what I've seen lately, Marvel has forgotten what it means to execute cinematography as an art form. The shots from recent Marvel movies, especially Avengers, Age of Ultron, Captain America Civil War, and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. seem cheap, reused, and devoid of the vibrancy we expect from films based on comic books. But please, don't misinterpret what I am saying about the cinematographers of the recent Marvel movies. They are obviously masters of their craft and spend an immense amount of time crafting these films. And I know that cinematography is not the sole contributor to why Marvel films are starting to feel bland and grey, as a few YouTubers have pointed out already. But I think recent Marvel movies are lacking more than a vibrant color palette or a unique film score. They are lacking what is required to show a compelling story. Let's talk about cinematic composition and pacing, especially in the context of the MCU's visual source material, comic books. The concept of a comic book story flow is based on the reader's focal point. Panel by panel, page by page, a well-organized comic book tells a story that is motivated by defining moments that require the reader's attention using focal points. In other words, there's no wasted space, no wasted actions. Each panel is composited to show a vital element of the story, whether object, character, or movement. Each shot is essential in conveying a character's intent or engaging the viewer's attention. This is what a good movie should do. But in recent Marvel superhero films, this is not always the case. Granted, not every scene needs to be filled with glorious cinematic sequences of epic proportion. But when a vibrant spectacle of cinematic beauty is expected, many Marvel movies fall short. But why? Number 1. Wasted Space there are limitations to what filmmakers can do with what they are given. Budget, set design, technology, all these things can limit a film's visual aspect. But there are moments in Marvel superhero films where shots feel empty and the danger or exaggeration that is associated with superhero movies are lost. All we see are the characters, violence, and a whole lot of air. This goes against the whole mentality of composition in the context of an action scene. Alexander McKendrick writes, Framing and editing determine the eye path of the viewer. It might not be too much to say that what a film director really directs is his audience attention. A well-framed comic panel or movie sequence must lead a viewer along a series of events in the clearest way possible while progressing the story. The set, actors, and camera movement must be incorporated as effectively as possible so that small details culminate into a big picture. Instead, Marvel often has action portrayed not as beats in a story, but a spectacle meant to appease the audience or fill in the gaps between fight scenes. Number 2. Poor Cinematography Pacing Action The fact or process of doing something, typically to achieve an aim or goal. Action in filmmaking doesn't necessarily involve fighting or violence, but it can involve those things. But it seems that the latest trend for editing action is to follow this equation. Faster cuts equals better pacing. But in reality, all this equation does is draw viewers to multiple focal points in a shorter time span. This creates confusion, rather than coherency. A sequence that flows smoothly with less cuts is better than a sequence that tries to show too much. Gail Chandler writes, It's not the number of quick cuts that make an action scene effective. It's the juxtaposition of these shots, short and close, long and wide, that sets the pace. Many movies and TV shows struggle with pacing scenes according to the story, whether it is a hastily cut scene with multiple insert shots or obligatory steadicam sequences. These techniques have their place, but if they are used too often they lose their value. Instead of being memorable, they become commonplace. Frank Capra once said, There are no rules in filmmaking, only sins. Now the cardinal sin is dullness. Creativity is better than quantity. Variety is better than complexity. Ingenuity is better than repetition. I have to admit, 
There have been some very well choreographed scenes in Marvel's recent repertoire of films and TV series. Scenes that use visuals to move the story along and keep the viewers interested. They obey the basic rules of composition, but overall, the bulk of current Marvel cinema lacks the originality and variety we are used to seeing. Especially films that were supposed to be groundbreaking like Age of Ultron or Civil War. One scene that is a mix of good and bad visual elements, in my opinion, is the airport fight from Captain America's Civil War. This event is meant to be the film's midpoint climax where Team Cap squares off against Team Iron Man in a gigantic grudge match. But what we really end up with is an equivalent to a schoolyard brawl and several million dollars of collateral damage. As a fight sequence, some parts inspire awe and are quite enjoyable to watch. As a climax, this scene kind of falls flat in my opinion. Then I started to realize other movies and shows have the same problem, but why? I think it's because they suffer from a lack of consistent cinematic appeal and poor pacing. But more importantly, these movies include moments we've already seen. I think the airport scene sums up the majority of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It can provide stunning visuals and a decent story that the audience can enjoy, but has reused its most favorable traits on various visual platforms. Instead of manipulating story arcs from comic books into films that closely resemble formulaic movie plots, why not select unique stories and characters that can be transformed from the pages of comic books to the big screen? Thankfully, with the success of Marvel's original Netflix show Daredevil and the promise of several visual styles in future movies, it seems the MCU is taking a turn for the best. If anything, Marvel's cinematic experiment should be a reminder of how attention to the story's substance and cinematic beauty can make all the difference separating the creative from the mediocre, the passable from the memorable, and the recycled from the relevant.